Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? I think possibly the best way to do this is to like split the group in half when I come to a corner. So just before I get to a corner, I then split the group in half and drop back five tractors, leave five of them and then take five round the corner and then go and take the next five round the corner. And that way they should all follow along quite nicely and rake up all of the hay. Now obviously going in certain directions, we don't rake up all of the hay. So we'll be going back over this kind of area again anyway. Um, but so yeah, some of it, it doesn't really matter. But anyway, I have got to, I need to get through the mud patch now. This is going to be an interesting bit. Uh, my weekly question is how much longer do you want me to stay on this map? Do you want me to stay here for another, uh, just another couple of weeks and then move on to something new and different? Or would you rather I stayed here until the 16 times Australian map? that I have been talking about is done and finished testing and ready to play. Um, that's, you know, assuming it's going to be ready sometime in the next uh, month to three months, something like that. Um, or would you rather I stayed here until the new Platinum DLC is released and then we go straight to the South American map and our next experience for completely unrealistic gameplay is set in South America with the new DLC, with all of the new things that are coming out. Um, so, yeah, and that would kind of be our next map. And that is on the 14th of November. So we stay here for exactly two more months. Um, well, almost exactly two more months. It's like, actually, it's two months and two weeks, but still, who's counting? Um, and then we, so we move on to there. So, yeah, it's your vote. It's your game. Head in the comment section down below. Let us know which one you want and why. And, of course, don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right-hand corner. And we are moving rapidly now towards the ultimate test. Can this work? And also, when we start moving back up across the field and we've already got the 10 passes of the rake already done there in a heap, is it going to get the next lot raked up as well? This is going to be the really, really tricky bit. So what we're going to do is, this is the first one, two, three, four, and five. So this is the ones we want to take round the corner the first time. And then this one is the one that we're going to stop. And we're actually going to stop it up here. So it's got plenty of room for error and to maneuver around. So if I just go to there and then I go control F, that one will stop there. These five here, they can follow along behind without any trouble soon as they get there and this is the last one so we do have a lot of hay being moved around but because of the direction that we're traveling it's not moving all of it it's leaving bits behind so it's kind of it's not really the ultimate test here the ultimate test is going to be up here now this is the bit that we need to go carefully we want to go slowly and i'm hoping that the first five tractors shouldn't have any problems getting around this corner and we'll go reasonably slowly like that just so that we hopefully they will all be able to get round there as well and this is going to be a big test because those tractors at the back are riding right up on top of that heap and as soon as i've gotten round the corner i can move on forward and speed up a bit and hopefully start rolling this heap in a little bit more so i'm sort of doing more like what the tractors behind me are doing and i'm going to go on a little bit more yet because i want the tractors behind me to be able to follow and we go to that one. That one seems to have done all right. That one seems to be doing okay. And that one, and that one as well. Now they are starting to leave bits behind, aren't they? Now we've got this one. So we now need to do the second lot, and we'll move these up as well. So I just got to follow the middle of the ridge. It would be ideal if we could kind of, I suppose really, we want the, the front mounted, uh, the, like the sit spider type one, don't we? But what I'm going to have to do here is I'm going to have to come at a gentle angle like this bring it out round and then move back in so that we do get them all lined up now if i did if i did do a second pass on here it would actually work really well we'd be able to push them and i'm also starting to think that maybe we don't want the offset anywhere near as much now because of the way that this that everything is rolling over so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to roll up through to these and I'm going to change the offset now down all the way to just 2.5. So it should move the tractors over quite a lot. I will keep the same distance behind, 2.5. No, I went the wrong way on that one. And that one at 
five and that one as well so yeah if we can do this on all of them down to 2.5 and right that one needs to be on follow and then oops, no, follow and then move it over to 2.5 so what i'm hoping is that most of the bulk of it will then stay to the left hand side of the tractor and we sh we should be able to gather up most of the uh, crop Right, that's on 2.5, so I obviously went the wrong way. I want to go to that one and set that one to 2.5, and then that one to 2.5 as well. There. Out to you. Right, that one <laughs> right up on top of the heap. So you can, it's, we're really starting to get issues now with the size of the heap that we're sat up on top of. Um, that is making a significant difference to the performance of all of the tractors. So let's move forward a little bit. We've only got the one at the back there. And this one now, if I just move this one up the side of the heap, we should be able to get uh, quite a bit of what we've done before. It's only got to just kind of move it over a little bit, hasn't it? And then the next one will move it over a little bit as well. And they will keep doing that. And if we were to take like that, um, the sip rake and we put that on the front of the tractor instead of the weight that could actually work really well that, that could like aid us with our um little issues that we're having now with um with this huge great big pile of grass although this is working quite 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 nicely we could probably offset ever so slightly more if we have that other rake going although i'm not sure if we can have that one going in the direction that we want it to that's moving up as well and then we've got that one. We are going to have a... The, the baler is going to do just fine. I don't think the baler is going to have any problems with this. And you. And then that one there. That, that is some windrow that we're getting on this field. Okay, let's go forward. And we'll run all the way down to the end of the field now. And see how it works out once we get down to the end. And then I'm thinking that we've got to get the baler involved. We've definitely got to get this baler involved fairly soon because that's kind of the whole point of this is we do want to do baling. And we've barely even touched on this field. I was hoping that this job would kind of be a reasonably quick one. So if we mess around, I tell you what, if we mess around with the baler a bit as well today and bale up some more small bales of hay, then next week we can make some alterations um, and I can maybe get a different baler or I can make some alterations to the baler that we've got. What would you like to see in regards to baling up the rest of this hay after we've done our playing around here today? How would you like me to finish off doing this hay? And we'll try to get it finished in the next episode. So the first episode of next week, we will try to get the hay finished and back to the yard so that it's all done and out the way. Now, I'm wanting to stick to 100,000 litre per bale so that when I've modified a feed mixer, we don't have any issues with the feed mixer um, getting the ratios wrong. Because the ratios, it's still going to be quite important to have the ratios quite uh, all accurate and right. Um, that is a very important point for me. So uh, we will stick to 100,000 litres per bale just to make life easy but I don't I've, I'm not you know nothing is set in stone I don't have to do anything any particular way uh, let's move back through a little bit and just see how it's working that's actually good it's, it's going now that we've not got the offset quite so much that is working really really well I mean I don't know if once you get to a certain point you start to lose a certain amount of crop or not you certainly used to in FS50 if you went and raked the field several times you lost a huge amount of crop it was just one of those things that happened. Right, we're on the back tractor, so that is 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. So if I chain, take that one off a of follow, and then we get these front five around this corner, we can then see about moving the back five around the corner um, so that we don't have the serious issues that we've had the last few times. And this is where we, we can kind of, hopefully, pick up neat and tidy and um like clean everything out at least i'm hoping I'd, if, if we can get this right now on this pass we should we, it should be okay and i'm sort of thinking that once we've done this we will then go around once more although the baler the baler the offset for the baler is on the wrong side for making this work very well so i'm not quite sure how we're going to do it i might put the baler onto one of the john Deers. um I mean, we, you can change the direction of flow on these. 
to make it a bit easier. So let's just move back through. Right, we don't want to worry about that one. That's moving everything. So if we go from the bottom end of the map up to here, or we go uh, bottom end of the field up to here, or we go from uh, north to south, it picks the bay, it picks the hay up really well. If you go the it's going the other two directions and it doesn't work very well, then then the Turner is the complete opposite for some strange reason. And I've no idea why it does think why it does that. That it's it is a very bizarre sort of situation to be in that you can't. There's certain things that you can't do on the map, uh, directions you can't travel. Nobody seems to know why it's done this either. Even the giant's employees don't know why it's doing this because some of them have taken a look at this issue and tried to come up with a solution and have been unable to do anything about it. Oh no, that one's it, they followed along right behind me and they've done a good job. They are actually starting to clean up some of this hay. We're, we're not leaving very much behind. This one needs to start up. So now we can set these. Uh, press B and turn it on. We can set these going and start going on around the field. Once we get over to the other side, obviously, we are just sort of going back over the ground that we've already done. I'm very curious about how the baler is going to... How, how we could do this so that the baler can follow along without any issues. If I can bring that in like that, and come back there, how are those behind me going to follow? Yeah, they're already... He's already trying to turn too sharp. So if I just stop there a sec... Oh, no, I do want to carry on. That's, that's trying to turn way too sharp. I've done it... I did that a bit too fast, and I did... <laughs> They're going round on two wheels. They're really struggling with that. Let's go back through and see the back one. Oh, he, he did kind of do it okay. Kind of. But it's not ideal. I mean, it, it is kind of getting it a bit neater there now, isn't it? So let's move forward to here and we can start pushing this line here. This can start pushing now a little bit more towards the east of the map. Is that east? I think that's east. Is that east? And if you look up, uh, I'm sure that's east. Yes, it is. It's definitely east. That way is east, and then the other way is west. I'm no good with directions. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely no good. Some people are really, really good at you just sort of, you plonk them down, and they'll say, oh, that direction's south, or that direction's north. I am absolutely no good at that whatsoever. I absolutely cannot do that. And I'm, I'm, I'm the first one to admit that I can't do that. I'm absolutely useless at it. So we'll just let those come bouncing along behind us. Uh, we want the back one. It's, be it's if they try to turn the corners too fast, it that's when you do start to get some fairly serious issues turning up. So if we can just let them ease around this corner reasonably slowly, they should all be okay. It's they do, they kind of start up. I mean, you can see now that the tractors at the back are going to struggle a bit, but you don't actually see the hay underneath them until they go until you sort of get a bit closer so it does just looks like they're flying and this one is the one that we want here so if i just put that one on follow there we go now we go up through here you've stopped all together start this one up again and just start moving and i'm hoping that it will start to move everything over towards the middle of the map I don't know how many more times we're going to have to sort of pass across this bit in order to move all the hay through. Probably a couple at least. It's just the way that it works. And that's just one of those things that we we can learn to live with. So if I ease that one to a halt right there. And then go back through to the back one. That is the back one. Yep, yeah, excellent. So, at the moment, it looks like it's kind of moving all of these little bits that were left from the last time round. It does actually look like it's moving those across quite well. And we're not really leaving any of it behind anymore. That's actually really good. I'm quite surprised at that. I didn't think that it would do that quite so efficiently. Just move back to the front again. We are... We, I mean, this is... The, is taking a while to do it like this but and what i'm thinking is that we will now stop with the back five we'll, we'll switch those off we'll get the small baler on once well we've got to get round there once we get round there we get the small baler on and then we'll let the small baler follow us across the fields 
um, oh, it follows around the fields, and it should gather up the entire swath, and then we can sort of start moving stuff from there. Now, we do have bits that were left out here. I'm, obviously, I'm not going to get all of it, because I am moving in just a little bit, but I'm hoping that by not turning too sharp, I'm not going to cause any problems for any of the machines that are following along behind me, and everything will work. It's a big sort of and and if and all the rest of it because we are having some serious issues with this. But it does, it, I mean, we're, we're getting there. You can see the trail of them behind me and they are slowly following. They are getting there. So if I can move this forward, I'm going to actually move this forward up through the mud. And it's up this corner up here that we need to be very careful about getting round. So I will drop it back down to just five tractors. Actually, I think we'll leave the tractors here because the the, um, the Massey is right here on this corner anyway. So if I bring these all the way up, let them stop right here and we'll just keep the front five. So we've got one here. That's two, three, four, and five. Then this one will stop. And we'll just let... We'll, hang on, let's just go and uh, go back and see how these other ones do. We, they've got to get through the mud now and this is going to be the difficult bit, especially this one because this is going to go right through the middle of the mud as it comes up through and that's really going to slow it down this one as well is also going to have to do that and then the one behind us will go through the mud once more <laughs> it's get, it did get through okay it, it actually managed it fairly well I'm quite surprised that one's done, has done it fairly well as well and it doesn't seem to matter about the speed either for um, how much difference it makes. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five. So we want to get rid of this one. Yeah, as far as the uh, the actual raking, I did have people suggesting when I was playing um, Rattlesnake Valley that in order to get it to work, I must just go slower. Well, I tried that, and I've tried that on this one as well. Going slower makes no difference whatsoever. If it's going to miss it, it will miss it. It won't pick it up if you're just because you're driving a little bit slower you can go as slow as you like it will still leave it in a heap on the ground um, and there is absolutely nothing you can do with it it's nothing to do with the speed you're going forward and it's everything to do with the way that the um it's like reading the ground and everything that's there um i don't quite know what it is that's causing it and nobody else like i said Nobody else seems to either because people at Giants have taken a look and they don't know how to do it. And I know that they would want to because the whole idea of using a four times map is something that's quite popular. And there's a lot of people that want to play consoles and want to be able to use a four times map as well. And you can understand this. It's, it's something that is a really popular thing to do. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go back through and turn the follow me off on all of these so that we turn off all of the hired helps. And I will just move this one. Oh, no, he's... I'll take the hired help off. That's the last one. So if I just bring that one around like that it should yeah i just want to move this little bit of hay over to one side just a, a bit so that it's kind of out the way and now i can move that one up there and then i can forget about that one as well right next thing is we want this one and i don't know if it would actually be better if we would have i think we will we will put this baler on one of those john deers just to make it work a little bit better because it will follow along behind just fine and then we've just got to remember to go along and gather up these bales when we're all finished so if i drop that baler there move the tractor over here out the way a bit and i want to come back through right actually we'll use it with this one you can unhitch this is the oldest one of all of them and it's also the muddiest one i think it spent more time diving through the mud patches than any of the other balers uh other, other tractors rather and we're back up here so yeah how would you like me to bail up the last one? Do you want me to use the Heston bales, the really big ones? Do you want me to go for just kind of the, like the standard ones? Uh, how many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five. Right. I think what we want to do is we want to offset this one by quite a considerable distance. So if I bring it over here and I want to start and lower the baler or lower and start the baler, whichever way you want to do it. And we go like that. Now, I don't want an offset of 2.5 on this one. What are you doing? 
Uh, okay, let me turn follow me off a second and see if it will do that without smashing into the tractor. Nope, apparently it won't. So I'm going to offset this one by 12 to start with. Uh, you know that's actually going to be a problem. So what we'll do is we'll take this one and we will unhitch that one and we'll use this one on the baler so that it runs evenly and then we can just flick straight back to it because if we're using the other one we've then got to go through all of these other uh, vehicles as well so if I can back this I'll get I'll get these swapped over a second well, well so far it seems to be working and having five tractors in front I mean obviously we're not really testing it with actual any run but I think the offset of 12 is going to be about right that should gather up everything the tractors can rake so now all we need to do is I'll run this one all the way down to the end of this field and we'll get round the corner and we'll see how the baler is doing well, we'll stop just in front of the corner. We'll see how the baler is doing, and then we can continue on. I'm thinking that for the next time, rather than using the rakes and everything, with the baler that I select for um, doing this particular job, we'll widen the pickup by, uh, I don't know, make it about four times wider than one of these, and we'll go quite a bit faster. And we can just race up and down the field. We don't have to worry about doing any raking at all. It should just generally make the whole job a lot easier. And those are following along all right at the moment. It, I know that the baler shouldn't be any issue for us. 26 miles an hour is, I think, top speed for this rake. I didn't set it too fast because I thought it might lead to some problems if I went, like, really ridiculously fast. But at the same time, I wanted it fast enough so that it would actually be able to do something. And now the baler coming along behind... The pickup width is definitely wide enough to be able to gather everything up. And we are almost done with one of the bales. That one's going to... And he stopped all right as well. That's excellent. Okay. So now we just got to get round the corner. And we've got that great big lump there. So I'm going to come really slowly around the corner like this. And I'm just going to hope that they can get round. It's because as they're on the inside which does make the whole turn a lot more difficult for them. So I might have to go and nurse them through the corner a little bit. Let's bring that one on. How the next one's going to do. There's a little bit of hay there, but that's okay. And then the one at the back shouldn't be any problem at all. They do seem to be doing okay. They do seem to be moving. If I can go forward just a bit more... It should be enough that we don't need to worry about them. So let's come back through. There's one turn here. It's just the baler itself that has actually got a little bit of an issue. And I'm hoping that if that tractor in front of us can get out from underneath us, this one will then be able to follow. Yes. It is lining itself back up again. And we're good. We're good to go. Excellent. Right. Move up through. I'm only going to move forward a little bit more because I just want to make sure that baler is going to get across that line and do the job okay. And we have got a absolutely massive windrow now. That is, <laughs> that is seriously impressive. That's like the windrow that we made with all the bales back um, when we did all the straw. It's got it all. All of it. Every single little bit. And look at the speed that, that bale is now being produced. That is fantastic. Although... This is, go this is bringing me to a, a point that could be an issue. I should have set the actual pickup width of this. I think, really, what we want is a vehicle following along behind, gathering these bales up on auto-follow. That's got to be that's got to be the last little bit. That's got to be the last detail because if we don't do that, we're going to be trying to pick those bales up when we come back through the next time, and that is no good at all. <gasps> no. We forgot. We completely forgot to put this one going for the last episode and for this episode. Oh, I can't believe I did that. That was very poor on my part. That's the first time we've forgotten that one. Right, this one here, it just has the one trailer. Uh, where is all our straw? There it is. The straw is still here. We're okay. And let's just go here. This one is on HD bales. That's perfect. So if I can take this one, I go... 
like that and I press F11 and I bring it over and I'm just going to actually I'm going to drop it over here because there is a bale near here somewhere isn't there so if I can drop it there to start with and start that one up put it into work position that should now be working and then what I need to do is run it along up through here there is one bale up here on this corner and then there's a couple of bales at the end of the field as well and there's one bale down the other end of the map but we're not too concerned about that one how close have you got to get that's kind of the next thing oh there's my timer going off uh i will get this one over and in position behind the baler we'll offset it slightly going the other way so it's not riding on the hay and i'm hoping then that we can gather up all the rest of the stuff and we'll gather up the bales as we go along as well i think i think we've got it we'll just get down to the end of the field just so that we can see this bit and then that's going to have to be it for this week, I'm afraid. I did want to... I, I was hoping to get a little bit more than this done, but, I mean, I think we've done pretty well. That is quite an impressive row of hay that we've gotten sort of piled up here. And it's, it's difficult to get it right with these uh, rakes because of the way that they work. So it, it is kind of difficult to get everything piling up and moving correctly. It does, however... It, it, it does seem to be working and the baler is working as well the lorry does seem like it's offset correctly so that it's going to gather up those bales that's kind of the next big thing is will it get the bales and yes it does actually look like the lorry is going to gather up these bales although it does need to be offset by quite a long way I think I think I need to pull that back to 30 at least because the braking power of this lorry is pretty grim so let's just jump out of there we can get into here right now let's get down to the end of this row and we'll see how it works i will try to move a little bit more we want to try and squeeze in as tight as we can so that we can move over move the hay over and get plenty more for that tractor to pick up because the ones behind us they are moving quite a quantity when you when you look at them they are moving quite a massive amount of hay which is quite impressive so let's just move up to there and right i will stop again now just so that we can run back behind and see how they're working that seems to be going really well i want to jump out let that one carry on and now it's the question because that bale is still sliding along the ground so is the lorry yes it is close enough and there's another one down there and it's now stopping as well right that is that's working everything seems to be working it's actually all coming together ha <laughs> ha i love it when a plan comes together okay maybe not quite my line but still um so yes with um with the balers how do you want me to do it for the rest of this hay do you want me to try to stick with the small baler and I mean, maybe we can make some alterations. I might be able to make this one work a bit wider or something like that so that it would go a bit better. Um, maybe we could get the, the front-mounted one and I could do some serious alterations to that one and get that one to do it. I'm not quite sure how we can do this. I'm sure there has to be a way that we can do this, like, really fast. But I'm just not sure what that way is. So let's bring those up through. We've got the bales being picked up. That lorry, is it? Good? Yes, it's picked that one up it does look like it's actually picking them up properly and that is particularly fantastic as far as i'm concerned there's another one there he's picked him up as well <laughs> that's brilliant it's actually worked really well i'm really pleased with that so let's move through here and there is the line of tractors they are all working it is doing brilliant but anyway i have run out of time now i really am gonna have to go um, so let me know about the balers in the comment section how would you like things worked out um, I really want to know and I will try to have something ready for next week if you enjoyed this episode then please head down below and give me a like and if you really enjoyed it please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome but until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later